Uh, I'm going to let you shoot me. Cross bolt safety, you know how to run a uh, 870. Oh, that's going to suck. Oh, you mother Oh, you shot your dad, man. <laughs> he coming right there. Hey, gents, this week we're going to have a lot of fun with shotguns. But before we do, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor of this video. You guys know the deal. I can't get you these videos for free. You didn't pay a dime for this without the uh, support of our sponsors. Oh, hey, Tactical Rifle Nation, before we get in the video, I just want to take a minute to thank companies that help support our channel. Without them, we couldn't bring you guys great videos every week. This week, I want to thank SDI. SDI is a major supporter. We appreciate them so much. So check out all their online courses. You can take firearms technology and learn how to get into gunsmithing and other areas of the firearm industry. So check them out at sdi.edu for more information. SDI, we really appreciate you. All right, hey, everybody knows I hate shotguns. No, I don't hate shotguns. Yes, it's called tactical rifleman. I got that. If I'm going to combat, I'm bringing a, I'm bringing a rifle. I got that. I, but the reality is shotguns are the most versatile weapon out there. There's just just complete plethora of different rounds for this thing. Everything from lethal, non-lethal, uh, just signal devices. There's just tons of stuff. And we started looking at the pile that we had and we're like, you know, this would be fun as hell to do. So we're going to start off with what's our usual one, birdshot. Bird birdshot, shot. everybody knows birdshot, right? What is birdshot, Randy? Birdshot is for birds. It's just small little pellets. I'm going to try to be really gentle with this and take the pellets out. If you can see that in my hand. Just dump that shit out, Randy. There's the size of the pellets, there's the wad that goes into it. So if you guys aren't, if you've never played with shotgun shells, everybody knows what the outside of the shell looks like, you got that. But a lot of times they have what's called wadding, right? And in this case, it's, it actually is, opens up with fins to slow the wadding down. But the idea is it encompasses all the shot so that it stays together as it's going down the barrel. Once it clears, the, the wadding opens up and just a bird shot opens up into a nice smooth pattern. Easy stuff, everybody's seen this stuff before. It's decent, it's devastating, but it's only devastating at a certain range. Uh, for example, we'll take uh, the Versamax here, long barrel, long distance. I'm gonna shoot the, I'm gonna shoot the, our far target here and plug him with it. Notice, more than one shot, I'm still delivering that energy. Stay on that trigger, and guys, um, knock that guy down. Easy stuff, right? That's okay. Let's go bigger. Let's go to buckshot. All right, I'm going to empty this one out here. All right, Randy, what is buckshot? Let's talk about buckshot now. Well, this is uh, when I did clave, clave, cave clearing in uh, Tora Bora. This is my favorite round because I didn't have just one projectile coming out. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Unplug this. Oh, this one is got the- It's stuff. got the filler in it, it. It's That's got all. the filler in it so that the shells don't uh, mash together. Can you guys see it? That's your wad that's gonna open up. And it's got nine of these pellets. So when I'm shooting it, I don't have to be as quite as accurate. And you, you're not going to get hit with these and not have damage done to you. Mass, the lo roughly same amount of lead, but where the bird shot spreads out, okay, these are larger projectiles. Now, people say, well, they're, they're 38 caliber. That's like shooting a guy with a 38 special. Nada, it's not. You're bleeding off a lot of that energy. I got that, but they are still significantly heavier than the number seven, uh, seven and a half, your eight bird shot, right? So this little bit more range with this one, um, he fell down. I'm going to just plug this guy right up front here. Same type thing. There we go. All right. Buckshot. He's not a happy camper, guys. He's really not. Not a happy camper at all. Gun's empty. 
Now, in the military, what do we talk about, Randy, uh, for breaching doors? We don't, uh, and there are some units that have to use buckshot to breach doors. Special ops guys, we prefer to use what's called a hat and round. Now, a hat and round basically uh, is, it looks like a slug when you look at it. We've got a couple different kinds of hat and browns breaching rounds, but basically all that it is, is a slug made of basically a compressed metal. And uh, you got, can you push that one through, yep. Randy? Yeah. He's getting it through. Push, puppy, push. Big old finger. You do have some monster fingers, brother. There we go. All right, so it looks like it's just a lead slug. It's as heavy as a lead slug because it's made out of lead a lot of times. And you can get them made out of all kinds of different metals and stuff. Uh, we've got a couple here that are actually powdered brass, but uh, it's not pure lead or pure brass. It is a powder that's been basically glued back together and the the intent of it is so that when you load it into that gun when you shoot that locking mechanism with it uh, you place your barrel right up against that door right up where that bolt goes into that doorway and when you fire the round off it, the, the weight is all there it's there's enough mass with, with the kinetic energy to knock the locking mechanism out of the door, but it immediately turns back into a powder. The advantage of this is you're not gonna get as much spall off of the door, but the, the big thing is any non-combatants inside the room, you're not, you're not injuring them. You've got that, uh, that little girl that hears somebody outside the door, she comes walking up because she wants to see who's out there. She doesn't deserve to eat that slug or that buckshot right? Uh, it's a non-combatant. So these rounds allow us to basically hit that locking mechanism, knock it out, and uh, without hurting anybody else in the room. Now, that said, these things are still solid until they hit something. Think of it as a frangible round, frangible 5.56, frangible 9 millimeter. Guys, they're still hitting really, really hard. I'm out of mannequin, so I'm gonna just plug that wall out there. But you'll see it arrives as a solid unit. You got your ears, Randy? Yep. Nice, beautiful, sexy hole in my, in my wall down there. That would hurt, guys. Why does that matter? Because if you're the breacher and you breach in that door, the idea is your team goes in while you're getting your long gun back up. But if that door opens right there while you've got that breaching shotgun in your hands, brother, put that baby to work. Awesome stuff. All right, uh, Randy, I'll tell you what, dude. Those are our standards. Every, uh, everybody at home knows bird, they know buck, they know uh, slugs. A lot of them know breaching rounds. Let's get into something squirrely. What do we got here? The Rhodesian jungle. The fine Rhodesian jungle. Guys, uh, it's a clear projectile and I can tell just by looking through it, it's got way too much gunpowder in it, but it's also got big lead pellets, okay, bigger than the buckshot, double up buck, but then they filled the rest of the casing up with uh, copper BBs. So you're delivering mass, in other words, a good round for longer range targets, but also you're getting the spread for those close range targets also. All right, so again, this is called the Rhodesian jungle round. What it's got is it's got a few pellets of lead, big pellets, larger than our double up buck. And then the rest of the volume in the shell is filled with uh, large copper coated uh, pellets. Decent stuff. The intent is in a jungle environment, sometimes you get longer shots, but sometimes it's very up close and personal. Um, I first saw them, I was like, well, this is kind of a novelty, okay? But if you look at a lot of the modern home defense shotgun rounds, like the, the ones for the judge and stuff like that, they'll have a couple large pellets and then they fill the rest of it with birdshot. Same concept, just this is an adult 12 gauge. Kind of badass, it really is. Kind of badass. All right, so I'm gonna plug one of these right here. Um, yeah. Rhodesian jungle. So that point man going through the jungles comes up on that target, busts through the brush a little bit close, 
And... Oh, yeah. Suck to be him. What do you think? I'm, I'm pretty sure that sucked to be him. Suck to be him. You know, Randy, um, that, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I, we've got sexier stuff, though. Yep. We really do. I'll tell you what. Let's go to this next one here. All right, this one right here, beautiful bullet. Now, remember that last one, the Rhodesian jungle had a big uh, lead pellets and then they filled the rest of it with a little bit of bird shot. Check this puppy out right here. Same type plan, but it has got a monster saboed slug in there. Looks, uh, it, it looks like the Goodyear blimp and then it's topped off the nose with a bunch of bird shot, right? And uh, pretty crazy. All right, so Randy has it right here in his hand. <coughs> Same type concept. You got your wadding to push it. That's a monster slug right there, guys. The neat part is this slug, normally they fly like this, hollowed out in the back. What these guys did was they put them in backwards and they filled the front of it with bird shot. Again, designed for jungle operations, but against harder targets, right? So let's say you've got vehicles uh, on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, let's say. <laughs> <coughs> Something like that. It's gonna fly through all that brush. I'm gonna take one of these. Let's hit this son of a gun right here, Randy. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking headshot for this one. What do you think? Now, how about like throat shot? Let's cut the head off. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Now, let oh, that yeah. sink in. I want you to look at that, all right? Picture something as big as a Goodyear blimp <laughs> passing right through your neck. You know what that does to your spinal column? It invites it to leave the building. That thing is gone. There ain't nothing left to Woodchuck. Sucks to be him. <laughs> All right, next one, Randy, I got more here. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Here's another one from the same company. All right, now, I, I tell you what, before we do this one, right, you know how YouTube is, dude. If we don't break, they'll end up sticking a, a commercial in mid-sentence. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, y'all relax, relax for a second, go get another uh, double shot of coffee and, uh, We'll see you back in a couple minutes. We're gonna let YouTube slap you right in the face with one of their commercials. Welcome back from that commercial break. I know you enjoyed it as much as I did. All right, all right. same concept, this next shell, same company, but what they did was instead of putting that big monster slug down bottom with birdshot on top, they're pushing the big monster slug facing in the right direction for accuracy and they're pushing it out the barrel with a bunch of those big buckshot rounds. So what Randy's got it right here in his hand. You've got the big, that's a heavy slug right there, guys. Heavy slug pointed in the correct direction to make it accurate at distance. Pushing it out of the barrel, you've got two, four, six monster uh, lead, uh, lead ball pushing this round out. Guys, for long range and very thick conditions, you know, people talk about some guns being good brush guns. This, this one right here, uh, you're deer hunting and that deer is at 50 meters, 75 meters. You're, you've got the slug to be accurate at distance. Up close and personal, you've got that buckshot. All right, let's hit. You know, I'm going to go with the long guy this time. Point it, change it, point it real quick, Emery. All right, so I don't even remember the name of this uh, one. It's in one of the random boxes of shotgun shells we've had laying around for years. It's pretty badass. Got my lead slug at the top, my projectile, followed by six large lead BBs. We're gonna go center mass of the chest. Whoa. Guys, I want that to sink in. It hit about an inch high. A whole inch high. So, um, w would that be accurate at 50 meters? Yes. Would it be accurate at 100 meters? Yes, it would. So literally, uh, multiple choice targets. I don't know if you can see it, but those BBs 
hit spread out on the chest. So if this was a close range shot, but at longer distances, guys, that slug is just making a mess out of this dude, making a mess out of it. Now, um, this next one, Randy, this, <laughs> this is, I'll tell you what, we're being way too serious. Let's be stupid for a minute. You want to be stupid for a minute? Yeah. I love All right, guys, stupid. this next one is called the Macho Gaucho. I'm, I'm not, I'm not joking, literally. Macho Gaucho, it's called the Argentine Cowboy. It's called the Gaucho, used a bolo to mobilize the cow he's trying to capture. This 12 gauge round works in very much the same way. Two lead balls on a wire that expand to mobilize your target with a devastating effect. Two and three quarter round for use in 12 gauge shotguns only. In other words, it's probably not gonna fit inside Randy's 410. No shit, I'm glad they put that in there. <laughs> Check this out, guys. It looks kind of like a normal lead slug, right? I'll grab one in. You grab one and I'll grab the other. Oh, check that. You see that wire in the middle? Now, here's the intent. That looks sexy and all. Throw in a bolo to take out the, to take out the legs of the cow you're trying to uh, brand or treat as a family member. I don't know. <laughs> the reality is, guys, real life, this thing is going to fly center. There's no way it's going to open up. It's not going to spin. It's not going to cut the guy's head off. It's not going to immobilize him by going around his ankles and making him fall down. The, the reality is it, it's just, guys, it's just not going to do it. It's really not. It's not going to do it. Or it might. What do you think? Well, I don't know. I've never shot it, so let's do it. Macho gacho. All right. Um, what to shoot it at? What to shoot it. So really, I need somebody to stand out there with their ankles so I can see if I can get it to wrap around their leg. Let's see if I got a demonstrator. Actually, I don't have a demonstrator. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will aim at the post on a couple of these. I'm going to grab a couple extra and uh, make sure I got the right ones I do. What's up? Mm, let's go to the far one, Emery, now that you've moved it. All right, so let's test out this concept, all right? The idea is that as soon as it leaves the barrel, the two lead ends, the bolos of the macho gacho, go in opposite directions. They're gonna spin and basically make a softball-sized ball of spinning love going through the air. Well, we're gonna test out our spinning balls of love here. I'm gonna go for the groin pelvic area of our far mannequin here. I don't know, maybe I can get one of them to wrap around. I, I doubt it, but it's, it's worth a try. Worth a try. Whoa, shit. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Why did it destroy my metal post? I can see the hole in my metal post from here. So literally, my lead slug went straight into my metal pipe and broke my mannequin. Mm, story of my life. Did it open up into a sexy bolo? Guys, it did not. It didn't. I'll tell you what, I'm going to shoot this close mannequin and see if we can uh, tear him up a little bit. We're, we're not even halfway through and we're only down to one mannequin here. All right, I got a couple more rounds. Let's just go center mass chest. <laughs> Nothing. Let's go. That nipple and that nipple. All right, that one actually started to open up a little bit. But my point, guys, is you go to this, you go to the gun shows, and there's sexy pictures. The macho gacho. It's got two lead slugs connected by a wire. Man, that's gonna be so devastating. The, the reality is, you, when you actually shoot it, you go, meh, meh, meh. It, 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 it's not all that, not all that. But it did kill the hell out of my mannequin. Yeah. Let's do the next one here. What do we got here? Sabo lead round. That went, the wire, everything went clear through that. Clear pocket. through. Yeah. Randy, um, you cut one of these open. I want you to explain what this is. All right, this is called, um, what was the name on these, Randy? 
This just a Sable lead slug. Sable, Sable lead slug. Um, but it comes with a, it's, it's actually called the Exploder. The Exploder is a huge Sabo slug, but if you look in the tip of it, it's got a hole. A lot, and that's, a lot of slugs have holes, why? So when you're deer hunting, they expand. That's not why they did this one. This projectile, I want you to look at that thing. That slug is completely hollowed out on the inside, completely hollowed out, thin walled, and that is so you can fill it with gunpowder, right? I'm not joking, right? And then it even says right here, it comes with directions for, for rednecks. All right, <laughs> add black powder to cavity of tip of slug. Insert shotgun primer with striking surface out. Requires finger pressure only. Do not strike with an object to insert in tip of slug. A good push of your finger is all that is required to hold the primer in place. Here's the deal, guys. They sell stuff like this at uh, gun shows. Understand if I put this together and I put a shotgun primer in the end of it, I'm basically making an explosive device that is not designed for use by the manufacturer. And uh, I, you guys know the deal. I, I understand some of the voices in my head are a little wild, but I, I don't break the law. Often, I don't, occasionally I speed. I've been known to speed on occasion, but I'm not looking for a reason to have the ATF come visit my house. I don't carry illegal shit in my house, not at all. These are legal for you to have. They're called the Exploder, all right? It is a hollowed out lead slug. You fill it with gunpowder, you put a shotgun primer on the end of it. Just understand if you fill these things up, um, you are creating a exploding projectile, and um, no, I, I'm not. I'm not doing that on YouTube, Randy. We're not shooting this one, so let's right, just throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. It's funny, guys. It's funny. I got that. You're like, man, that'd be so awesome. Exploding rounds. Is there a place for exploding rounds? Yeah, you guys know I love my Rafis rounds for the Barrett 50 cal, Patton explosive, all that stuff. For these, you would do better off just hitting the guy in the chest with that lead slug rather than walking around with something that if you accidentally drop the shotgun shell, have it blow off and throw all that shit back up at you. Nada. Let's get in a non-lethal round. Let's do some non-lethal. But before we do, we're going to break for another commercial. I'll see you guys back in a minute. Hey, welcome back from that commercial. We're going to get into less lethal shotgun shells. Now, yeah, you know, it kind of bugs me when people say less lethal, implying that it can be lethal. Yeah, so can a frying pan, you know, so can a baseball <laughs> bat. All right, these rounds are, they're actually marked as non lethal. We have to call them less lethal for all the lawyers out there. You understand lawyers should come right between deer and turkey season, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, you're, 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 all right, um, and there's, there's a season for them. All right, now, um, this one is a, it's just an extreme powder. It's almost like rock salt, right? Remember the old uh, historic non lethal round that all the farmers used to use for people stealing the watermelon? It was actually watermelons uh, when I was shot at with rock salt. Um, when you start doing less lethal, I want you to understand. I'm, I'm joking when I say they're non-lethal. We're gonna show you a progression of these less lethal rounds. And I want you to understand, you can't just buy them and start shooting them at your buddies like you're having a BB gun war out in the woods. That is yes. not the case. A lot of these rounds are designed like for uh, prison guards to be using from the tower down into the courtyard. And if you get closer than like 25 meters, they are legitimately uh, rubber slugs and are very, very lethal. So anyways, we're going to just show some of them. This one is actually marked non-lethal. It is a very fine powder. We set our one remaining mannequin up back at 20 yards and uh, we're going to show you that literally this ain't going to phase homeboy at all. Not one bit. All right. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> Now, 
<laughs> I got all my flaming stuff, right? <laughs> that's what it. That's what the box said, brother. Why would that be considered non-lethal? Let's say you got that Antifa crowd, or BLM, or uh, Save the Whales, or Gun Rights guys, or you're on the steps at the Capitol, <laughs> ugly boogly. Now, I don't care what your political views are, guys. Uh, the reality is, I, I don't care nationality, race, creed, color, religion, you know I don't give a shit. Everybody in the military, we're green. But the reality is, don't be mad at the soldier. Don't be mad at the law enforcement guy. Don't be mad at the security guard if he has to use force to stop you. And uh, if that was the crowd coming straight at you and I all of a sudden emptied the shotgun out in front of the crowd, in front of the crowd, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have stopped too. You know, dude, that was fun. Uh, let's do like, Let's do a barrage for <laughs> let's do a barrage for crowd control. I'm a, I'm out of I don't want to get hit with that stuff. Dang. Barrage. This is non-lethal crowd control, or as I prefer to call it, share the love. <laughs> share the love. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, mark this one badass. My mother just called and is inviting me to share with all of you. Please don't try this at home. All right, let's go to something better, dude. What do we got? What do we got? Let's do that one right there. Okay, what we have is... Know. Oh, dude. These Rio, These are the Rios. Yeah, they're polyurethane, if I pronounce Polyethylene. Right. Polyethylene, sorry. Polyethylene, guys. Um, I jerked a tear on that last one. <laughs> that was freedom. That was freedom. Polyethylene. Basically, guys, this is a bird shot round, but instead of it being lead pellets, they're little plastic BBs is all they are. Understand that Randy's going to pour it out in his hand. Now, um, these things, they're, they're round. They're plastic BBs. Yes, you know, it's like what you fill in your, uh, a lot of your cushions or little throw pillows on the couch and stuff. Uh, and if you've got a shotgun loader, you can make all kinds of sexy rounds to play with. Uh, this is truly leth less lethal, all right? Uh, they're gonna slow down a lot faster than the birdshot. But understand, if you are point blank range, from me to Randy, I can kill Randy with a shotgun blank. I want that to sink in. You can kill somebody with a shotgun blank, right? Um, let me see what these things will do on our mannequin out there. All right, these are the Rio uh, Less Lethal Polyethylene Birdshot. Yep. Our target's sitting at the other end of the hallway, and we want to invite him to close the door on the way out. Didn't want to run. Don't have enough ass to run this shotgun. You see how it knocked the mannequin over just like my birdshot did? That's right, it didn't, okay? Same distance, that same target before I knocked over with the birdshot. I want that to sink in because a lot of people bash birdshot for home defense. I got that, but uh, if you want to dial it back a little bit more, uh, these polyethylene shells are really going to go through a lot less drywall. What do we got next, Randy? What's up on the agenda? Ooh, you were just mean now. <laughs> we're talking, uh, we, we're talking prisons, okay? Uh, riot controls in prisons. This is one of my favorite riot control rounds. It is, um, uh, where is it? I, um, it's a nasty projectile. I know that's This not is a the nasty. hornet's nest projectile. It's called the hornet's nest, and basically, buckshot. You see the buckshot in it, right? No wadding, because this is designed to spread out as so, literally as soon as it clears the end of the barrel. These are all, um, they're all rubber. They're little rubber balls. And um, now, I've never been hit with one of these from a shotgun, but I saw a claymore, non-lethal claymore, go off with these rubber balls in it. And I'm here to tell you, brother, you don't want to get hit by this thing. Uh, not at all. 
You want to volunteer with me? No, I'm going to get rid of this, stand back so I don't get hit with any of that. Dude, I'll tell you what. Um, we'll take one. We'll put one in the gun. Maybe keep a spare. Hornet's nest, not a less lethal, uh, basically rubber buckshot uh, against our mannequin here. Everybody got eyes, because uh, case stuff comes back. That includes the cameraman. That's it. That pretty anticlimactic, yeah. too. Yeah. I was expecting BBs to come back at us. Oh, I got some right in the eye, though. There's the... Uh, Unburnt gunpowder, I think. All right. Oh, they did bounce back. They bounced back. All right, guys, so it is literally so low powered, it doesn't even cycle the gun. So this is definitely be something you'd want to run through a pump. Um, you know, that's pretty boring. I, I got a, a volunteer who wants to get plugged by this. No? No volunteers. Okay. Nick, you want to get hit by this? Let's shoot my son with it. Before we do, though, I'm going to, uh, before I shoot one of my family members, <laughs> let's break for another commercial break because mama may never let me film again. All right. <laughs> All right, hey, so we got my son to volunteer for this. Uh, we are going to be shooting the... Uh, hornet's nest, these are those rubber balls. It's, it's uh, less lethal. It's basically uh, bird shot. Put it back on safe. Your mama would sincerely lose her shit if I shot uh, her son. Uh, I'm going to let you shoot me. Crossbolt safety, you know how to run a uh, 870. Oh, this is so going to suck. Hmm. Hmm. Don't tell your mama we did this. She's not gonna watch it anyways. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, you shot your dad, man. That's some love right there. Come on, Randy. Let's go. get off my set. What are you doing? Please don't tell your mom we did that. That was Operation Bad Idea. Here's the deal. <laughs> um, less lethal rounds. Uh, less lethal rounds. Um, I'm glad it wasn't real buckshot. Yes. Um, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Let's move up the chain a little bit. What do we got next? Oh, now remember, that was the hornet's nest. They had the little, uh, basically your double op buckshot, uh, but they were rubber balls, very, very low power to charge, would not even cycle a semi-auto shotgun. It had to be done through the pump shotgun. Now, this is called the double ball. This next one we're going to shoot is called the double ball, and they call it that because it's got... How many balls in it, Randy? It's got two big balls. Big yeah. balls. Did I mention these things have big balls? <laughs> wow, dude. Those aren't hollow either. These things. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. uh, it's your turn, Randy. You ready? <laughs> yeah, uh, not happening. Come on, dude. You got to take one for the team. I'll tell I, you what. I, I, know, a, I know a guy now, that can take it. What we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put this at our mannequin. And uh, everybody in our studio audience, all you guys out there in TV land, you make sure you got your eye pro on because these two puppies are coming straight back at us. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. All right. The double ball. 
was not bad. It wasn't that bad at all. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. What do you think? I, should we get a, a, a volunteer? Yeah. Could I'll I get a volunteer from the studio audience? No, not you, Jerry. Sit down. I know Jerry J volunteers for everything. Maybe <laughs> we could get somebody else. You ready, Emery? You ready, Jason? You ready, Nick? Emery, you're up. No, uh, Randy, Randy said he'd do it. Okay, that's cool. No, 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 no I didn't. <laughs> Come here, Emery. We have us a new demonstrator. We've got Emery. Uh, he's wearing his caliber armor, which is good stuff. Soft. Caliber armor is good stuff. You don't have plates in there. No, it's soft. Soft. He's got soft. caliber armor, soft armor. I see you've got a uh, groin protector on. He's compensating for something. That's good. And uh, same gas mask. Guys, I can't stress enough, this is funny and all, but uh, we're doing this for educational purposes. Do not try this at home. Emery, I'm gonna confirm that is a double ball round, less lethal. I see it. All right, and uh, cause I don't want you pissed off at me. Randy, you get the shoot him. Uh, I love you, Randy. I love you too, man. All right. Dang. Quick, now, now, shoot him right. <laughs> no. All right. All right, let the air out. Drop your chin. Got it. Oh, you missed the plate. <laughs> no, I aimed right at it, man. Uh, I did. <laughs> oh, you missed it. Oh, I still love you, Randy. <laughs> Damn, did you? Oh, oh right did the nipple. Oh. Oh, oh. I, I, swear yes! to, I swear to God, I aimed right for it. I love you, Randy. Right there. I did. I, I did, it man. It hit me right here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Understand, guys. Uh, Less lethal, less propellant coming out through a barrel like this. I understand. It's, it's, they're just not that accurate. They're not. They do make a accurate, uh, less lethal round. And uh, pull some of those out for me right here. All right, we, you cut one of those open yep. already. A rubber rocket. These are called rubber rockets, guys. Uh, again, they are sincerely badass rounds, without a doubt, without a doubt. <laughs> Quit, you're whining over there, Emery. You didn't die. Oh, shit. Yeah. Come here, come here, Emery. Oh, Show your nipple. Shit. <coughs> oh, Our ow. Two ball. That's kind of, uh, put ow. it in the sun, dude. Get that arm up. There we go. Yeah, yeah that's sexy. Ow. That's love right there, guys. That's I didn't love. mean that. He did that I for you. Straight. He did that went for off, you. Man. All right. Um, this is called the rubber rocket. All right. It's Basically, and it's not rubber, guys. This is kind of like a soft plastic. It is hollow, um, but they're basically rubber bullets for long distance for like prison riots. Now they are designed basically for the guards up in the tower to shoot down on the crowd. In other words, if you get really close, these things get not less lethal, I got that, but they get more and more lethal the closer you get. These things, uh, we shot them in a shoot house at tier one group and they went right through a hollow core door at like 25 feet. I want that to sink in. They are um, less lethal. They are, but um, they will knock the crap out of somebody. And um, I appreciate uh, Jason volunteering for this. We're gonna shoot the mannequin. This is the blue rocket, less lethal round. Ooh, bouncing back. It'll knock the crap out of you, truly. All right, you see, uh, literally, I picked center mass. I hit him in the eyeball. I, I hit him down in the pelvic girdle. Guys, these are accurate, but they, you notice I was rocking that mannequin back, knocking that mannequin back. These are, uh, I'm not shooting these at, at somebody unless it's a real world scenario. I'm just not gonna do it. 
All right, so we're going to move on to the next ones here. All right, these are called hydrokinetic impact with orange UV dye. Hydrokinetic, in other words, a water shot. They're not really uh, water. Um, go ahead and push it out, Randy. Let's see it. And the dye, you can, you can open it. You have to open it up. You got a little balloon in the middle filled with dye, but the rest of it is all basically just cotton. You're shooting a little water balloon at somebody. The intent is, you guys understand, you can't compress a fluid. You can compress a gas. You can compress a solid. I can hit a wooden table with a hammer and put a dent in it, but you can't compress a fluid. So these puppies are going to hurt like hell. They really are. Um, and you'll notice that it says it comes with an orange UV dye. What is the importance of this? Let's say the uh, riot control police have to open up on the guy that's putting the green laser in their eyes, which is against federal law, by the way, or they have to shoot the rioter that's throwing the Molotov cocktails. After the guy runs off, they can then go into the Starbucks where the hippie piece of shit's hiding, and they can walk around with the little UV light and uh, pull the guy out. Good stuff indeed. Okay, I see die on our guy. We could find that perpetrator in the local Starbucks, I'm sure. Those weren't that bad. Honest, I don't really want to shoot somebody with that one either, though. Tell you what, the next one we're going to do, we're, we're winding down. We only got a couple left. Um, this next one is called Pepper Blast. Here's the cool part about the Pepper Blast is um, some people show up at riots with gas masks, but very few. They all wear bandanas to hide their faces so their mom won't know that they're out protesting when they go home to go get back in their basements, right? But while they're out there, um, the reality is that uh, a lot of people don't like getting sprayed with mace. A lot of people don't like getting sprayed with uh, pepper spray, bear spray, stuff like this. These rounds are designed to do the same thing. Uh, some of them actually have... Uh, Pepper balls, like paintballs, you can get paintball rounds filled with pepper spray and you shoot them out in the crowd and that way it's getting delivered right there. These are gonna be very similar to those uh, fire ones that we shot earlier. It's gonna spray a cloud out into the crowd. The cool part about these is these can literally be used right up close and personal. Um, Emery, uh, you wanna let me shoot the wall with these and you just kinda eat these? All right. How many is enough? And I appreciate Emery volunteering to do this. Um, not that I would shoot six of these down there. I wouldn't do that. All right, so the intent here is Emery is going to... Um, Emery's going to go stand down with our other uh, ruffian protesting whatever it is that he feels he has to be an activist about. And um, I'm going to just plug these into the wall. Right? Emery's going to get right there. Uh, yeah, Emery, I'm not shooting at you. I'm shooting at the wall. All right. Okay. We good? Absolutely nothing, right? Oh. Nothing. Why? It sounds awesome, guys. It briefs real well. It looks awesome when you buy the things at, at the uh, gun shows. Pepper Blast. Wow, these are great. Yeah, maybe if you shot them inside of a car, inside the hallway of your house. Yeah, but just remember, after the fight's over with, you're the one that's got to clean these things up. And... Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm just not big on pepper spray. I'm a big fan of tasers. Uh, I'm a big fan of knives. I'm a big fan of blunt trauma. If somebody wants to run his mouth, I remind him this is not the internet. 
and uh, you get punched in the face. All right, so um, Evans, we got one last round here we're gonna do. This is called aerial pest control. You see these things at weddings, and what they do is they use these things for getting the birds out of the trees. I, I don't want you to cut one of these open, Randy. I really don't. Okay. All right, um, but basically all this thing is, is it is, it's a little flashbang grenade, and you shoot them up in the trees, it goes bang, uh, but the purpose of it is to scare birds for weddings. I like them because they have other potential uses. Also, I'll let you, uh, I'll let you use your imagination. Hello. Son of a guns, they go all over the place. <laughs> Entertainment, fun for the whole family. Again, guys, uh, this whole video, they call it tactical rifleman for a reason. I legitimately, I, you know, a shotgun's got a lot of vers versatility. I love to play with shotguns. This is actually my Versamax. I do, uh, I do um, three gun competitions with. But if I'm going to gunfight, I'm bringing a rifle. This is fun. I hope you've enjoyed having fun with me and Randy Rawhide Worse. I want to give a special thanks to my demonstrator, Emery Morgenstern, International Man of Mystery. We've had fun. I hope you all had fun. Oh, and my son, Nicholas. Yes, please don't tell your mom that you shot your dad. That would be bad. All right, uh, you guys know the deal. Leave the comments below. If you've got cool, sexy shotgun shells you like better than ours, if you were to send me a couple cases of them, I'd appreciate it. Leave the comments below. We love you. You know we do. Just, mm, y'all take care and shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.